Hey, Butterfly family. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing um, another update. I'm doing a update missing person reading on Elijah Boo. Three years old, Elijah Boo. This baby right here with them puffy dog looking eyes. Sweet little handsome fella, three years old. He went missing February the 20th of this year. Now, I've already done a, um extensive energy reading on this child. I did it on February the 23rd. For those who did watch it, I thank you. For those who haven't checked it out, feel free to um, check this video out. Uh, I'm sure whatever is going to come out in this energy reading, it will make more sense to many of you. A lot of the clues that came out in this reading. And let me say this. You'll be surprised. Some people are so sinister. And Lord knows I'm praying that this baby will be found alive. Please know that. But let me just say this. Some people are so sinister when it comes to trying to hide evidence. Okay? They would do the unthinkable. Even moving a body. And I said this child body was moved. But I'm just saying, you know, you'll be surprised who's checking out social media. Okay? I don't have I don't have a mind of a cr criminal, but I can imagine you know, um, yeah. If you're checking out social media, um, in a way they can pretty much have you a step ahead because you already have an idea of how people are thinking and where their heads are concerning a case, especially when it comes to suspects. So anyway, um, I'm praying that Elijah, you know, will be found safe. I really am. Oh, boy. Um, so, anyway, when I was um, typing his name in, in in the search engine, okay, looking for any updates, because it's been a while, it has been a while, um, this is what came out, okay, so far. Um, it just says one day ago, we know about the disappearance of, I'm sorry, what we know about the disappearance of Wisconsin toddler Elijah Vu. Uh, this says preparation underway for Elijah Vu fundraiser at Michael, it's M-I-K-A-D-O-W, okay? Um, Mike Caddell something theater. I have here Elijah Vu, caregiver, plead not guilty to neglect charges. Remember, Elijah's mom um, had, uh, she allowed her so-called, you know, boyfriend um, to uh, watch her son, okay? Um, he was giving her son, um, according from what I'm hearing, trying to teach him, you know, how to be a man, you know. I, I don't really understand that. He's only three years old. Okay. I, I don't understand that concept, but whatever. Uh, but anyway, Elijah was in the care of a man that was in a relationship with his mom. Okay. And um, they did state that his um, blankie was found, I think, for anywhere from three to four miles away from the location uh, that he went missing. And um, on the mom, and I believe also on her so-called boyfriend, charges with felony child neglect. Um, that's what they're trying to stick them with. And um, the mom and the boyfriend are currently in jail, I believe. This is one day ago. Three years old, Elijah Vu still missing. Man plead not guilty to child neglect, uh, the mom, uh, boyfriend, okay, pleading not guilty to child neglect. So, it just pisses me off because he was the last person, you know, to be seen with this child, and he, I mean, I understand they have to have more evidence, but as you see, this case is dragging, okay, it's dragging big time. It has here, cops say no evidence missing for Elijah Vu was abducted after searching yard. It has here, um, a Netflix series. They must have a Netflix series about this case. I didn't know that. I'm about to check that out. 
But anyway, family, uh, as you see, this case is really dragging. Now, for those who live in Wisconsin, um, that lives out there, if you're watching, um, may some of these clues, um, you know, um, because many of you, you know that area, okay? You know that area. So maybe some of these clues that comes out would be helpful for many of you to get out, check these locations out. Lord knows, I'm not trying to waste nobody time, okay? Um, I'm just <clears throat> want to build service to see what additional clues, you know, that will come out in my energy reading that would um, help find this child, okay? So I'm going to pull up his image again. Now... I've already done an extensive reading on this child, so this is not going to be one of those, okay? This is not going to be one of those. Let me just say that. Um, Hold up one minute. <clears throat> this is not going to be one of those. Let me just say that. I've jotted down some notes. Because I am a intuitive energy reader, okay? I jotted down some notes of the energies that I'm getting pertain that I'm getting as far as surrounding this case, all right? That can be of some help trying to find this child. Cause we know with God all things are possible. Uh, much love to my new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Much love to my channel members. Thank you, Ingi. Thank you at Tarot Destiny. Tarot Destiny being with me for now three months. Thank you for your ongoing love and support. Thank you, Ingi. Been a member uh, my channel member for a member for one month now, but Ingi been supporting me all alone. Let me just say that, okay? But I love you guys and thank you, you know, for supporting your sister. Anybody would like to become a channel member, hit that join button, supporting what I do, trying to be the voice for the voiceless. Let's go ahead and get started with this energy reading, family. I, I wrote my notes down, okay? While I'm um, going over my findings, um, just looking to this child, beautiful eyes. And send him lots of love and light as well, okay? Alrighty. Um, three years old, Elijah Boo. I'm going to say this, family. Uh, I'm not sensing Elijah is with us. Let me just say that. I don't know everything, but I know what I know. Um, we're going to just keep him in prayer and pray that he will be found no matter what. Okay? No matter what. So I have my notes here. Now, he went missing February the, what, 20th. So, for some reason, I'm getting, um, I'm getting something about 10 weeks. And I'm, and also there are timelines to my readers, okay? So, keep all of that in mind, okay? I'm getting, um, something about 10 weeks and 5 months, Okay? It can be within 10 weeks or within five months, but those are what I'm getting so far. I'm getting near future. Near future can be from this time forth, okay? From this time forth, as far as me doing this, you know, uh, update energy rating. I don't know why um, Bart is coming to me. I, I think about, you know, somebody is uh, uh, going out to one of these places to drink. I'm sure... You know, allegedly, um, you know, the mom boyfriend drinks. Um, disclaimer, whatever you see in here in this energy reading um, on Elijah Vu, it is not factual. It is allegedly, and this is for entertainment purpose only. If any of you would like to see me actual shuffle the decks and cards being laid out, check out that reading that I show many of you, okay? I make sure it's posted um, towards the end. But check out that reading, all right, to refer back to. All right, concerning Elijah Vu, these are the engines that I'm getting surrounding this child disappearing. I'm getting backwoods from home. So uh, whatever jumped off, it, it jumped off from home. The location where this child was at, I'm getting premeditated. And uh, I'm getting crime. I'm getting family uh, due to the fact that the mom um allowed her boyfriend to um you know be in the care of him uh the mom energy is still coming up it could be due to the fact she's helping as far as trying to hide evidence or you know um and if she wasn't in the know about anything 
I feel like she's in the know now. Let me just say that, okay? But anyway, I'm getting um, family member. I'm getting the word dragged. I'm getting dead in road. I've already said back road, so I'm getting dead in road. I'm ears to here now. So I got back road, dead in road. <clears throat> And this child did go missing on a Tuesday. For some reason, uh, I'm getting a hit on Sunday. I feel like if Elijah, if he end up being found, let me just say that, it probably be on the weekend. But I'm getting, I'm getting a hit on a Sunday. I'm getting the word fall and homicide. I'm getting campsite. So in that area, is there a campsite? I feel like this child was manhandled and possibly, you know, he could have been in pain uh, due to any of his, you know, body parts being um, bruised or injured. I'm getting neighborhood. I'm not familiar with that area, okay? So I apologize uh, when it comes to me saying the word neighborhood. I'm getting north. I'm getting north or northeast, okay? North or northeast. So keep all that in mind, okay? I'm getting north or northeast. I'm still... I'm still getting the energy of a stranger also. It's somebody else that's in the know. I feel like it's somebody else that's in the know. That's all I'm going to say. We know about, you know, the mom. We know about, you know, the mom boyfriend. But I'm still getting a strong hit on somebody else that's in a part of this equation. I'm getting child abuse. I'm getting off side of the road. It could be more evidence. You know how these people, these jokers, be scattering evidence. And I do feel that he will be found. It would be in um, God's, the most High God's divine timing. I'm getting local area. And I'm getting something about employment. That can be due to somebody's background. I feel like there was some drinking. Um, and also not being focused. I'm getting impaired. So it's a good chance this child could have been, you know, um, impaired. Okay. Uh, I'm getting the energy of some fighting going on as well. That could be the conflict that was going on during that time. I'm getting something about an offer, okay? And there was definitely some drug use. Now, these are the issues I'm getting around about this child, okay? There's definitely some drug use, whether a mom does drugs, allegedly, or the, her so called boyfriend does drugs. Um. I'm getting the word drug dealer also, but so there's definitely some drug use surrounding this child. And yeah, I'm going to say it. I'm getting trafficking as well. I'm getting energy surrounding this child of, of trafficking. That can be whether it's selling, 
that can be due to whether it's uh, giving this child away to somebody or, you know, selling this child, if you know what I mean. Um, and it's all kind of trafficking, okay? You got sex trafficking. You got organ trafficking. Uh, it's all kind of trafficking. Let me just say that, okay? I'm getting, I'm getting a hit on sold. And I'm not saying that this is the mom energy. It could be the boyfriend uh, energy as far as, you know, taking part in this. I'm getting the energy of unwanted child. But definitely greed is playing a part. And I keep saying to myself, well, why would greed play a part in this? Unless this child was sold. And I'm also getting checking the neighborhood. I know they found the blanket, what, three or four miles away. I'm getting a hit on trash and gaslighting. We all know what comes to gaslighting, you know, that can be due to the evidence. The evidence is, the evidence is, is, is in this case, is going to be so scattered, you're not going to really know exactly where this child is because a lot of evidence is scattered. Now, just the fact I'm saying trash, you know, you might think landfill, but he might not be in no landfill. Um, somebody has tattoos. I'm getting the energy of behind uh abandoned building. It could be, it could be an abandoned building somewhere around. I'm getting rocks. And I'm also getting something about city worker. Um, well, I think about city worker, I think about construction. Because there are a lot of abandoned, uh, I'm just saying allegedly, there are a lot of, you know, abandoned houses that are new. Uh, that are on construction sites because a lot of these homes are not complete. And I'm not saying that's the case, but I'm just, I'm just, you know, putting it out there. But I am getting a, I am getting a hit on a city worker, whatever that means. That could be a cop, you know. I mean, that could be somebody, you know. Um, that could be anybody. I'm definitely getting I'm definitely getting a hit on construction as well. Construction. I'm getting I'm getting the energy of stalking. You know, uh, some somebody watching. Um, somebody's scared to speak up. Uh, I'm getting the energy of somebody that's uh, that's a pedophile. Okay, paid off. I'm getting the energy of somebody being accused of wrongdoing, but it's considered as false accusations. Uh, the energy are rejected. And garbage bag. I'm getting it as well. This, this child could have been... Mm. This child definitely outside somewhere, Okay. This child definitely outside somewhere. Um, I'm definitely, you know, getting a hit on digging. But placed in something. And set on fire. Something was set on fire. Let me just say that. And if, the, if there are any hills anywhere, I'm getting, I feel like this child is somewhere like on a lower level. Okay? Like, for instance, if there are any hills or mountains anywhere around, I'm just giving you an example. I feel like this child is like it's on a lower level. Okay? Maybe there's, maybe there's mountains and hills in the distance, but I feel like this, I feel like this child is on a lower level. Can get something about somebody being married. I 
I'm, I, I'm, I'm also getting campsite, like a campsite anywhere around there. So from where he went missing, from where Elijah went missing, is there a campsite? Or a campground, campsite or a campground, okay? A campsite or a campground. And I feel like something was burnt also. I'm, I'm just going to put it out there now. Because uh, somebody was definitely paying attention to the time. You better believe that. For whatever reason. And I'm getting, I'm getting a hit on body parts, family. Um... I'm not trying to say that this child was cut up, but people are so crazy, you just never know. And I apologize for being so blunt, but, you know, as we move forward and things start to unfold, um, especially, because see, the authorities just know what they know. Let me just say that. And a lot of times they find things, they don't even tell the public what they find. You know, all I know is so far they found his blanket. That's all I know. But we don't know what else that was found. I feel I'm also getting in plain sight, you know. Um, I really don't want to believe that this somebody took advantage of this child, gave this child to somebody else, and that person profit from this child, if you know what I mean, okay? Because uh, the angel sold is coming to me. I think about profit because greed came out. So when I say body parts, y'all know what I'm talking about. Everything is allegedly what I'm saying, okay? These are just an energy impressions that I'm getting. And I felt, uh, I feel like this was a cleanup job. And I feel like this child was carried out. Um, I know I did a reading on him. Uh, I think what ran from home, something like that came out. But I feel like he was trying to get away, allegedly from the mom's boyfriend. Because there's no telling how he was, you know, manhandling him. But I feel like this child was carried out. But he could have been given to somebody else. That's the point I'm trying to make. Because, see, this person would be a stranger to the child. The mom boyfriend is not a stranger to this child. Because I'm also getting, I'm also picking up on a stranger. Um, it just depends on who this person is. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this child clothes will, will be found as well, okay? It, it's going to be like, you know, evidence here, evidence here, as far as little things that they're going to be finding. But see, all of this is just gaslighting. It's gaslighting, it's gaslighting the authorities and it's, gas, and it's gaslighting the people because when they're finding all these little bits of evidence pertaining to this child... This child is not in that area. The child's not going to be in the area to where they're finding these little things, okay? That's what I'm trying to make. And I feel like this child's somewhere in a tight space. Um, but I feel like that this child's clothes will be found. Exactly what, I don't know. Could be shirts, pants, but exactly what, I don't know. But I feel like the campsites and campgrounds need to be checked out. If anybody lives in that area that's actually boots on the ground, um, and if you have time, please uh, check out the uh, campsite areas as well.
I don't know why the word crawl space is coming to me, but that's coming to me as well. I think about some. I think about a small space like a chimney. Not, I'm not saying this child's in a chimney, but I'm just saying like, like a, 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 a. For some reason, I'm getting I'm getting crawl space. Okay. I wonder what this mom getting child support for this child. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, family. This case is going cold due to lack of evidence. But I do feel like it will pick up once they start, uh, you know, finding more of this child's evidence, his belongings. Let me just say that, okay? See, everything's about timelines. But right now, I feel, like, I feel like the case is moving. I feel like it's going real slow right now, you know. Uh, but eventually, it will pick up. Like I said, you know, once they start um, finding more of this child's belongings. But I feel like they're going to find something personal of this child, like clothes, okay? It could be a top. It could be the bottom. But they're going to they're they're find something else. Um... I feel like this child was removed from the house at night. And wherever this child was taken, this child couldn't see a way out. And I'm getting a hit on the cut up. And you know what? It might not be, you know, like, like, and forgive me for saying that, okay? I got to tell it the way I feel it when, it when it's coming to me. It might not be like the body parts, okay? It could be maybe his clothes, his belongings could be cut up. But this is what I'm getting. I'm getting the, I'm getting the word cut up. It's coming to me. And CPS is coming to me. I feel, I feel like this mom um, been dealing with CPS um before whatever jumped out with this child um cps could have been called on mom before or they definitely getting involved now i feel like it was definitely an unlawful act that jumped off and it's a good chance well Mm. I don't think mom and a boyfriend was committed to each other anyway, okay? I really don't. And I'm definitely getting a hit on um, life insurance, okay? I'm getting a hit on that. But somebody is definitely uh, carried themselves as a, a pedophile, okay? That energy. I'm just trying to figure out the energy of somebody that's stalking. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what that's about, you know, because, um, or, or well, I, 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 I'm still puzzled about that, you know. Um, that wouldn't be the mom boyfriend that's stalking, but I feel like the mom boyfriend had hand um, Elijah over to somebody because I'm getting the word paid off. I'm getting the word paid off. And maybe the person has a background as a city worker. The word crane and construction site is coming to me. Uh, I, I feel like this child could have been choked. Allegedly. Wherever this child is, there's no street lights. I feel like there's no street like where this child is. So I don't know that that's pretty much like a back road, isn't it? A, a lot of play, a lot of these roads don't have no street light. Well, especially if it's like a dead in you know, or a back road, you know, a lot of times there, there aren't any street lights. Cause I was getting an abandoned building as well, and um, the word abandoned uh, left behind is coming to me. The other person that's involved, I feel, is laying low right now. Because mom not talking. Uh, her boyfriend ain't talking. So far, they don't got nothing on them. 
I feel like check the neighborhood. The neighborhood needs to be checked, okay? The neighborhood needs to be checked. Now, somebody definitely a criminal. Let me just say that. Due to their background. Um, the word con artist comes to me. It's con. And I feel like this child's still like in a local area. And I want to say like a nature park, but that's still like a wooded area, okay? And I'm gonna say this, family. Uh, it's a good chance uh, if they don't if they don't find enough evidence to stick it to mom and the boyfriend, he he may not even be convicted for the crime of this child. And I say that due to what they know. But it thinks about timelines, as I stated. You know, this case seems to be going kind of cold right now, but it can pick up. I feel like it's a good chance that they may be prosecuted. Poor thing. Yeah, there were definitely some child abuse. Hmm. It was definitely some child abuse. And then, see, family, you don't know who people are tied to or who they know. And the location, as I stated, I'm getting northeast or north. So, all those, like, locations that I was mentioning, um, see if they are in these so-called, you know, locations. Because I said north or northeast, and I mentioned a lot of different places. Cause I feel like this child is, is within the city limits. The word county come to me as well. And I keep getting neighborhood and close by. I keep getting that neighborhood and close by. And um, pay attention to these uh, campers, these campsites need to be checked out. Yeah, when it comes to vehicle, I'm definitely getting a car. And whoever that's driving in any particular car, the car can be tracked. You know how something vehicle, I guess due to the make and model, uh, they can be tracked. And it's a good chance um, that there's water nearby, a lake or a creek. I'm definitely getting the lovers playing a part in this. Okay? As I stated, back road, I'm getting... And it could be a road that's closed off. And there should be some kind of surveillance somewhere. 
within the so-called area. It's just a it's just a matter of narrowing it down to the main area. Uh, I'm picking up on a church and possibly somewhere where there's a cemetery. Now remember, I said north or northeast. Now I picked up on a cemetery and possibly a church. Um, this child, if if he's found uh, Elijah, he, I'm looking at it in the near future family. That can be any. It can be any time from this day forth. That can be any time. I'm getting near future. Um, possibly, you know, from this day, it could be. It could be any time. It could be ten weeks. It could be five months. But I feel like eventually, you know, um, whatever they find, you know. It, it, it's really just due to them find, finding Elijah, period, okay? It's really due to them finding him. And that's my prayer, that this child will be found. So, God bless you all. Thank you for caring. I just want to keep Elijah's name out there. Um, I know a lot of people attention are on other cases. Um, we love Sebastian. We send Sebastian lots of love and light his way. But, you know, we need more attention back on this child as well. And a host of others, okay? Um, it takes a village. It really do. Let's keep three years old Elijah in our prayers. Let's send him lots of love and light his way. For boots on the ground, God bless you. I pray some of these notes, these um, clues will be helpful. Thanks for watching and bye for now.